Welcome guys to another video, today we are going to be watching a new 3D model that is able to generate 3D worlds from single images and these worlds are bigger and better than ever before. So let's see the video from this lab and oh my god this looks pretty pretty insane, like this is incredible, this could potentially be the future of game creation, creating the 3D worlds, you know spinning up a game and you know this could pretty much allow you to create 3D worlds and 3D games very very fast and very easily especially if they could allow exportation of these 3D worlds in some kind of way or form so so that looks pretty clean the geometry looks nice and the environment looks absolutely huge and we can actually right now look at the current worlds they have available but in order to test it out, we got to enter a waitlist. So you can sign in using Google on their website, which is marble.worldlabs.ai. And I gotta say, in all honesty, this result looks pretty amazing. About a month ago, we got Jenny 3, and since then we got so many 3D model generators and all of that stuff. Are pushing really the frontier of AI, this is insane. So when you try to sign in, you will have to fill up like this wait list to get access to it. Probably this model is, you know, kind of costly. This probably is not one of the cheapest models out there. But for now, just to check it out, we're going to be, you know, giving a look at what they have available on their website. So we're going to get started with realistic worlds. That's one of the things that I find the most interesting. And this is like the realistic world here you can press to see the controls so what is this oh by doing that you enter the world okay that's very interesting i gotta say this is not really looking that realistic but when you are inside the house it looks pretty pretty nice like it looks kind of good but i gotta say anything outside the house I would say it doesn't look pretty amazing, but the house looks kind of good. Let's go ahead and see another example. Let's see this house over here. So let's enter the world and the world is actively loading. So this is the house here. That looks nice. I like this. I see a lot of, uh, you know, washed out stuff in all honesty. So I'm really interested to see how their demo is played out. Like on their demo, everything is, looks a lot more clearer. However, in the examples I see, it doesn't look that clear, which is interesting. Let's go back, let's go to fantasy, and let's check this out. The world is loading, we will allow the world to load, but, and this is how the world looks. I don't know why it's so washed out, in all honesty. The deeper you go into the world, the less clear everything is. Maybe that's one of the issues with my browser, I don't know. But you should get, but you guys should give this a look. This looks interesting, like even at the current stage of it and how it is, like right now, I gotta say that potentially it could look a lot better in the future. But already the results seem quite promising. Let's see some stylized output. So I'm going to go ahead and watch like this world here. So yeah, one of the things that people say in the comments is don't try to get close to objects because they will not look nice. And I guess that's pretty much the truth of the situation. But okay, I can appreciate how a small lab was able to create something like that. For example, here, we can see that this looks pretty, pretty nice, especially from far away, it looks pretty clear, pretty crisp. The further away you are from the objects, the clearer they are, which is very, very strange. But again, I can appreciate how this technology right now looks like that, especially if you understand how costly it is to actually build this kind of worlds and this kind of models. I would firmly expect some lab like Google and OpenAI to create something even better in the near future. So this is like a gym here and okay, I would say that the bench here looks quite interesting, quite clear. The weights here look kind of good. I really also like how the lighting is, it looks very, very nice. But again, in terms of comparing with what they have shown us on the demo and what we see on the images here, I gotta say it's a little bit misleading but you know that's just my opinion maybe that's the truth and you know if you see it as an image 
It looks really nice. Again, we have to understand that you go from an image to a 3D world. So, of course, you are going to have worse quality. I gotta say, this looks pretty, pretty nice, especially when you are zoomed out. That looks very, very nice. So, yeah, this is pretty much it for today's video. I hope you found this somehow interesting, something different that we have never seen before. And I would really love to know your opinion about this, uh, you know, development.